Hello, if you have this radical problem, this is square root of t power 3 equals square root of 2 power 3. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. So, what we are going to do is to consider this identity if you have square root of a. This simply means a power 1 over 2 because the square root here is this exponent here. So, we apply the same identity here. We have t power 3. This is raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals 2 power 3. And this is raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, if you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of 1 over n, or raised to the power of n, not 1 over 2, raised to the power of n. Right? So, Let's apply that here. So we are going to have t power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. And this equals 2 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, also remember that if you have a power 1 over 2, this is the same thing as square root of a. That is, taking this and converting to this. So applying that here and here, we have square root of t raised to the power of 3, and this equals square root of 2 raised to the power of 3. So let's move this over here. We simply have square root of t raised to the power of 3 minus square root of 2 raised to the power of 3, and this equals 0. Now, if you have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. And in this case, a is square root of t, while b is square root of 2. So, applying that identity here, I have square root of t minus square root of 2 times square root of t raised to the power of 2 plus square root of t times square root of 2 plus square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 this equals 0. So square root of t minus square root of 2 times this eliminate this I have t plus this times this, I have square root of 2t plus this cancel this, I have 2, and this equals 0. So at this point, I can equate each of these to 0. I have square root of t minus square root of 2 equals 0. I also have t plus square root of 2t plus 2 equals 0. So what we can do is to solve this individual equation. I can start using this. I can have square root of t equals square root of 2 by moving this over here. And from here, square root, eliminate square root of t equals 2. So it is my first solution. Now, we need to solve this other equation to find the other values of t. So I can move 2 over here and move t over here. I have square root of 2t equal this is negative 2 minus t. So taking the squares of each part of the equation, this cancel this. I have 2t equals to take the square of this. I have negative 2 minus t times negative 2 minus t. So right from here, I'll have 2t equals, let's expand this. So we'll simply have this is 4, negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 times negative t, I have plus 2t, this time this, I have plus 2t, this time this, I have plus t power 2. So what we are going to do is we need to simply have 2t equals this is 4 plus this is 4t plus t squared. So what we are going to do 
is to move this over here. I have zero equals four plus four t plus t squared minus two t. So what we are going to do will be to have zero equals four plus four t minus two t. This is two t plus t squared. So let's rearrange this equation. I will simply have t squared plus 2t plus 4 equals 0. So to solve this, we can make use of the formula method of solving a quadratic equation because it's actually a quadratic equation. We have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of this is p squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. I can have the equation of t squared. That is 1, that is my a, this is my b, this is my c. So let's insert them right into this particular formula. Of t equals negative b, that is negative 2, plus or minus square root of b squared, s to power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 4, divided by 2 times 1. t equals negative 2 plus or minus square root of this is 4 minus 16 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals this is negative 2 plus or minus half square root of this is negative 12 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 2 plus or minus this is square root of negative 1 times square root of 12. Divided by 2. So from here, of t equals negative 2 plus or minus this will give us i times square root of 12. This is 4 times 3. Divided by 2. So from here, of t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4 times square root of 3. Divided by 2. So from here, we have t equals negative 2 plus or minus i times square root of 4. This is 2 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals 2 eliminates 2 eliminates 2. We have negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. So you have two complex values for t. I can have my t2 equals negative 1 plus i root 3. I can also have my t3 equals negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex values for t. And we have one real value for t, which is 2. Yeah. So you can easily check by inserting this particular value for t. Remember, t is 2. If you have square root of t power 3, it's called square root of 2 power 3. And t equals 2. That means you have square root of 2 power 3 equals square root of 2 power 3. And this is just like writing square root of 2 power 3 here. It's 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. And this equals square root of 8. So guys, this is it. So this is how you can solve this problem. Thank you and goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. I really appreciate that. Thank you and see you again.